Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to be talking about how to use the gyro sensor with Spike Prime. Let's go ahead and get started by creating a new project. And what we're going to want to do first is we've learned from tests that you need to set the movement speed. So go ahead and grab one of these blocks in movement. Set and grab one and set it to 25% because we've learned tests that if you just keep it at the normal speed then it will just not really work as well and so since we're using the gyro sensor let's go ahead and pop down into sensors and grab the set yaw angle right down here to zero because what this does is it makes it so well whenever you your robot turns it can, it will sort of change the number from zero to a uh, bigger number, I guess. And and depending on which way it's turning, it will change from a positive number to a negative number. So if it turns to the right, then it'll start to uh, bring the number up. Or if it's turning to the left, then it will start to bring the number down. And so then we're going to go back to movement and we're going to set our movement motors to B plus C because that's what we have our robot plugged into. And now the next we are going to grab a move forward command because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going out and then turning to the right and then going forward. So we're going to be going out for, I guess, 0.5 rotations. And so now we are going to go ahead and go down all the way to the bottom to this little icon right here with the blocks and the plus. And then you click on that and then you'll get all these. We're going to click on the more movement so what this does is, once you're done, you can just go ahead and close it. Is it adds an extra section down here. You can click on it, and then there's more things that you can use to move around with. And so we're going to grab a start moving at, num and then two numbers and percent power. Because what this does is it makes it so we can control both of our wheels. So let's go ahead, and for the first wheel, we're going to do 25 and then for the second wheel we're going to do negative 25 so this will just make it so that way it starts turning and then we're also going to be using the wait until block so what this is doing so far is it sets our speed to 25 percent and it sets the yaw angle to zero so that way it can detect when we're turning and then also it and then it also sets the motors to B plus C, so that's for the motors that it uses. And then it moves forward for 0.5 rotations, and then it just starts turning. And then what we're going to do is, well, it has a wait until block. So then we're going to go down to operators. We're going to grab the blank equals 100, and then we're going to change that to 90. And what this is going to do is, once we have the yaw angle, so we're going to go to sensors and go ahead and grab the, where is it, ah, here it is, right down, right above the set yaw angle, so we're going to click on yaw, so what this does is it waits until the yaw angle, so that's basically turning right or left, equals 90, so, so that's until you turn 90 degrees, so right angle. And then, once it's done turning 90 degrees, we just want it to stop moving. So you're going to go to movement and go grab the stop moving block. And then, because we are uh, going out, turning, and then going forward, we are going to need to grab another movement block, and then we're going to move forward for... Uh, depending on how much space you have, we're going to do three rotations. And now let's go ahead and download that. 
Okay, we're out here at my play field, and I'm going to run four tests to see where my robot ends up. I've already ran one test to align this sheet of paper, and for each test, we're going to mark where the robot is. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, now let's mark test one. And now for test two. And now time to mark it. And now for test three. Okay, let's go ahead and mark that. And now for test four. Okay, let's go ahead and mark that. Okay, this one was a little more off. It wasn't as close to our previous one. As you can see from the numbers, using the gyro sensor with the Spike Prime gives you a lot more repeatability in an FLL type setting. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. I will be making more videos in the future. See you in the next one. Bye!